Hello folks, Jason Christman, JC's Bees. You know what this is? A lot of people refer to it as rabbit wire, but it's hardware cloth. In today's video, I'm going to tell you how this can help save your bees this winter. We're going to talk about entrance reducers and mouse guards. You're going to want to pay attention folks, a lot of important information in this video. If we look here at the entrance of this hive, you can tell the entrance has been reduced. They only have a little tiny space to get in. And you can also see some rabbit wire put over the entrance. Well, let me explain why we're doing this. The entrance reducer, being this piece of wood here, blocking this part of the entrance, it's basically to help the bees be able to manage any intruders or robbers. Because now, instead of defending this whole entrance, they only have to defend from here to here, which is a great help to our bees. Now this mouse guard, let me explain why that's on here. As we start to get a little colder, a little bit more frigid, or maybe even get a little snow, mice are going to be looking for a nice cozy place to keep warm. And what better place than in our beehives? And whether they will fit in this entrance or not, mice are known for chewing on things and they will actually bore that wood out big enough that they can crawl in there. And I know you think that little tiny gap, they're going to chew at it and make it big enough they can get in? Give them time. When the elements are behind you saying it's cold out, you do some crazy things and that's one of them. So to aid in keeping the mice from chewing at that, we've got this rabbit wire. Now I still need to staple it in place. I've just got it sitting here now. But this is the first step, getting it put in place. So this is what my entrance reducers and mouse guards look like on my nuke, on this particular nuke anyhow. What I want to do now is show you another nuke and a different style mouse guard and entrance reducer. So let's hop on over to that. Okay, so these nukes have entrance disc, which make it a lot easier for the beekeeper to manage the entrance because the disc have a few different settings. Let me explain here. This entrance disc is the same as the top one, as you can see. I'm going to try and explain what each hole would be. This one here, this is your mouse guard and reducer. This one here is fully open entrance, and this one here closes them in but gives them ventilation. Now, you could reduce the entrance by simply giving them a half of a hole here, but at the same time, a mouse could get in that hole, and that's not what we want. So, we're gonna put it back on mouse guard, just like so, and what that's gonna do is keep any mice from getting in, and it's gonna reduce the entrance enough that the bees can manage who gets in and out. And you can see I've got it set on the same at the top. So now let's go over and look at a 10 frame hive and see how I've went about reducing those entrances and my mouse guards. So this is a full size 10 frame hive. It's got a deep, three mediums. The top medium is actually a super. There is uh, one of the thin excluders right here. Now I haven't checked it to see if there's any nectar in it, but I need to be doing that really soon and removing my excluder. But down to the mouse guard, basically what I've done is I've taken some old frame parts to block off this part, and then over here I've got my uh, mouse guard installed. Pretty simple, um, not a whole lot of expense in this because I just used some uh, old blocks of wood. Now probably what I'll end up doing before we actually get into winter is take these off and get something that actually slides into the hole to plug it off versus sitting out here. Because what I noticed last year is, is this acted as a way for moisture to get back behind here, and I don't really want that. But one thing I'm noticing here, and I want to point this out because this is going to be a big concern to all the new beekeepers. As we get cold weather, you're going to naturally see bees starting to die off. And you're going to notice a lot of them at the entrance. Don't panic. This is completely normal behavior. 
Um, this here actually shows you the, the importance of having the top entrance going into winter, at least one of the reasons. Because see, as more bees die over winter, say we're in the middle of December, um, the bees that die that month could add up to where it just blocks off this whole entrance. Then there's no way for a bee to escape to go out and go to the restroom and come back in. So that's when the top entrance can be a handy, handy thing to have. Not to mention what it can do for ventilation. But that's another video. Now I want to show you a little bit more fancier um, entrance reducer and mouse guard. Let's go check it out. Again, these are full-size 10-frame hives. The one on the end down here, I have not done anything to yet. Still need to do that. Probably do that today. These two, um, got the mouse guards on. Entrance is reduced. These are the more fancier version of the mouse guard and entrance reducer. They actually have a couple different settings on them. These ones were given to me and they were actually missing a couple parts. They're supposed to be um, a metal bracket that goes on down here and screws to the box and one on this side. And with those metal brackets, you just simply take your mouse guard and you slide it in behind there and drop it in and it holds it in place. And then you can see these little uh, pieces of metal that are bent outward to grab. Those are your handles. So then you would just simply lift it up out from behind that piece of metal. And then you could flip it around and put it down in this way and completely block the bees in, but yet give them ventilation. Now that's not an option, say, for, for winter. That's more of you're going to move your hives and don't want the bees to escape but it's still a handy option to have. So as you can see, it greatly reduces the entrance. Um, I did notice that if you've got a beetle buster board, there's some pieces of plastic that protrude out to the end here, and I did have to cut those off. They were in the way of sticking this on. Now, as, you, as I said, I am missing a couple pieces. So all I did was took a couple finish nails and tacked it onto the box. It's gonna work rather well, and uh, I feel pretty good about that. Now up here on this hole, you can see I've got rabbit wire stapled over it because like I said, mice will chew their way in. And look what he got here, an upper entrance. Very, very important. But we'll talk about the upper entrance next week. So make sure you tune in for that because this little hole here could save your bees and help them survive the long cold winter. So make sure you tune in for that video, folks. And I hope this video has been rather educational. And uh, after you uh, see it, you go out and reduce your entrance. Put your mouse guards on with confidence. So what do you think, folks? You have any questions or concerns about the mouse guard or the entrance reducer? Ask them down below. I'd be glad to help you out. And hey, if I don't know the answer, Surely one of my followers do. A lot of great information down in the comments. So if you usually don't read them, I suggest you take a few minutes and read them over because you might learn something. I want to thank you all for tuning in today. And uh, I also want to mention that my beekeeping checklist will be released with this video. So if you're a Patreon and you get the beekeeping checklist and you've been waiting for it, make sure you jump on over there and check it out. Um, this month's checklist has a lot of valuable information and it's going to help you prepare your hives for the upcoming cold weather. So make sure you check that out. Uh, if you enjoyed this video, throw me a big thumbs up. And hey, if you haven't subscribed, please take a moment to do so. And make sure you click on that little bell up there so you get notified when I release new videos. Thanks for watching JC's Bees. Mm -hmm.